Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today you're joining me in the West End. I'm going to be replacing some existing fittings I'll show you for these ones. And the six I'm going to be replacing are this. The client's also asking if I can replace the emergency switch with a, a fish key and emergency light switch, which is here and this is my board. Complete mess, but I can see from the the back of the switch here that's nice and neatly hey, putting the trunk in that goes into the top of this isolator which I've switched off the client are also looking for a socket to be installed here but again I'll, I'll confirm exactly exactly where they're looking for that to be installed finished article. So excuse the uh, bits of damage to the side but that's going to be taken care of by the agency. They're going to get another contractor in to tidy that up. It's a microwave sensor type light so obviously as soon as I move about or the residents move about it'll click on. And it's also an emergency so I've went ahead and fitted this key switch off camera. And that'll bring the emergency element in. It's been pretty straightforward so far. That's me done one and uh, the key switch. I'll go ahead and do the rest. I've got six in total to do. If I get the chance to time lapse any, I'll do that for you. Okay, I don't know where you can see this, but I'll just show you. You fix them onto the wall and turn them in. So I've already drilled my holes, got the screws started. Just screws and both legs. That's it. I'm going to leave my, my link in for my live, my switch live. I've been round it all, ensuring that my battery's plugged in, my new one's plugged in, and that all the terminations are in properly. Fasten it up, then I'll go and grab the visor. Yeah, just four screws to fasten this visor in. And then the outer visor is just a, a push on fitting. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. The client's also asked that I wire in a double socket just as a cleaning outlet because it's a, a communal building. I've just been asked to sort of wire it in surface. So I'm going to put the double patrice there. I'm going to put a piece of mini trunking along here into my box. I've already drilled out my, my hole there. And it's not getting terminated up at the minute because there's a bit of work to get done in this board. But I've just left my cable coiled up here. But as you can see in here, it's a bit of a mess with everything going on here. 
Uh, we can see that, but that's, that's tails with bare copper ends on show. I've checked them on all live, but still not good enough. That's the finished product. Again, quite a simple job, and it'll get powered up at a later date. Right, that's me pretty much done at this job here. I'm just going to do a wee walk around, uh, just show you what I've done, just also make sure that everything's working okay. So these fittings are microwave sensors on them, so it should just be coming on as I pass by. There's two up here that are fed off a different circuit and it's going to be a, a return visit to link them into this job, so it's going to be the one up on the left here that isn't really come on. So that one and the one up there are going to need to be uh, disconnected from their circuit just now and fed into this circuit, but that's going to be getting done at a later date. The client is aware of that. I'm now going to go and Press the key switch on these circuits just to ensure that obviously the, the emergency light function of it is working so they can be tested further down the line. So like I probably mentioned earlier on, I think this key switch is an installation as well. Again, you can see that that's working, that one's working. One at the top of the stairs is working. Again, these, these two need a supply to them. The one at the top of these stairs is working. I'm just going to go do a wee tidy up of this job now and then that will be me and I'll catch you on the next one.